All right, we are headed into Legoland, Florida. We're gonna go check out their Christmas Spectacular. Uh, what are you most excited to see? Uh, all of the beautiful decorations. What about you? I wanna ride the rides. You wanna ride the rides? Let's I see. am looking forward Cut me off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to going in and seeing the 30 foot Christmas tree be lit. Like titles. Let me see what else. I'm also interested in seeing some of the Christmas themed builds. So we will share more with you. Check it out. Have you ever wondered who's braver, me or the kids? Go, Brian, go. If you've ever wondered who's braver, me or the kids, here's your answer because I am not going on this, not even a little bit. First time on it, what'd you think? It was fun but scary. Scary? It was scary when you got it to the top and it looked like you were gonna go over the edge, but you didn't, you just went backwards. Okay. Whoa. I wish you could ride it again, but the line's too big. Okay, so we'll ride it again later maybe? Yeah. What about you, dude? Did you have fun? Um, yeah. I did. Yeah, you're not riding it with me. Let's not push the limits here. You wanna go meet Santa? Yeah! Alright, let's do it. Yeah. We are going to go look for some elves in Miniland. Dude, you going to find the elves? What? Are you going to find the elves in Miniland? Yeah. Yeah? We will find them. We will look for them. Alright, so... <laughs> Alright guys, look. I think we found our first uh, elf over here. Little yellow guy. So we'll give you one hint during the whole video. We're going to give you the hint of the yellow elf. It's over by this beautiful pirate display. And watch out, if you give your kids too much time, they will end up shooting water everywhere. It's a true thing. So if you want to cool off in Midi Land, there you go. Thank you. Let me see. Look, it has a little O. Sweet. What are you guys doing? Beautiful mosaic. So it's like this mosaic, and then I want to build a picture by the end. Of the time. Oh, so let me see what you have there. I have this little green thing. Oh, so it tells you what color goes where? Yeah, and then when you're And done. then it goes over here to the bigger mosaic? Yep. Pretty cool. What you just do? We just showed a letter to Sarah. Let's go turn it in. All right. All right. Mailed off. What about Bug? Hey, Bug, you want to throw yours in the mail? Oh, you made the cantina band play. What else is there? Look at the Star Destroyer, that's freaking awesome. It does. Buck, look, did you see him go up under it? Sweet. Alright, you ready to go channel your inner dark side? Oh, spooky. Oh, that's just, that's not the dark side, that's the goofy side. So what'd you guys just do? Uh, um, flying school. Flying school, what'd you think? It was okay, so this was my first time on this one and I have to be honest, it slams your face against the brackets that hold you in the thing a lot, but other than that, fun ride. Sometimes mom 
sick. So we're going to go hang out and run off some energy in this nice uh, kingdom park. All right, let's do it. Wait, I know you. I know you too. Hi. Hello, have fun. Find some more trouble to get into. Um, let's see. We're I gonna go to the dragon ride. I'm dragon gonna... ride? Yeah. Not the Ninjago though. Don't get it. Green yeah. dragon. Ride. Yeah, we're not doing Ninjago today, right? Too long of a Hey guys, what are you about to do? Marlon, you about to spin like crazy? Woo! Things gonna go fast? Woo! Bug, you think it's gonna go fast? Yeah. It's gonna make the weirdest face every time she comes around. I think that's about what's to go down. Let's see. Yep, <laughs> that's the thing that's happening today. The nice thing about the way that Legoland is laid out is that you can easily let older kids go ahead and ride a ride and just wait for them at the end and give them a little bit of independence and let them have some fun on rides that you might not want to ride yourself. Like for me, the dragon. All right, dude, we're chilling by Wild Style over here. And you've got news. What's up? Okay, there is a new ride coming. Um, Lego Movie World, if you see over here. Um, it's coming new, and I can't, like, wait at all. Neither! It's gonna be amazing! Or would awesome be the word? Heh. <laughs> Cause everything is awesome! Oh my gosh, it's Santa! <laughs> Okay, how cute are the Lego reindeer, though? It's oh, it's snowing! Alright, first of all, let's talk about the cuteness of Lego Frosty, because it's very Duplo, and it's very cute. But what I find absolutely adorable, look at the Lego candy canes. Okay, it's a little Lego candy cane and a Lego sometimes, star. Sometimes if you have older kids, Duplo Land isn't exactly your first option, but they have a lot of cute photo spots over here. I made the kids pause for a minute because I have to show you this Christmas chicken is so stinking cute. And like the little Christmas trees and little horse and everything in Duplo Land. Now, my son making the sheep go bad, not so enjoyable. All right, so get this. We are at about 3.30. Got here at about 12.30. We've ridden pretty much most of the park. It's been a low crowd day. And these kids have ridden Dragon twice in a row. And this is their second time on this ride. I'm not exactly sure how many times they're gonna ride it, but I have a feeling that it might be multiple because there's not many people in line and they have the freedom to just go berserk. Yeah, that would be my daughter. You just heard screaming? Yep. So let's get us uh, in photos of alone first. So we are walking out of Legoland. It is just a little before six, and we've had a chance to experience a lot of the stuff going on. Oh, what's with the sad face? No, I'm just doing the. Oh, okay. Um, we have had a chance to kind of check out a little bit of everything they have for their holiday offering. And I have to say that it is a lot of fun. It's a very small, very low-key, relaxing event. Not your... So if you're overwhelmed, if you don't want some of the more crowded events of the year, I highly recommend it. There's a lot of great Lego builds, great... What else would you say? Meet and greets. Um, what was your favorite part? Uh, just doing all the rides because most of the rides had lower wait times except for 
your newer stuff like Ninjago and a couple of the other stuff. But like we were able to walk onto Lego Friends Pony Ride seven times. Oh my in goodness! A row. <laughs> you wrote that. She wrote it, and he wrote it a seven bazillion times. Seven times in yeah. a row. Seven, and at one point three straight, and one was four in a row. One right? was two. One was three in the row. One was five in a row, and one was one. I what about you, dude? What's your favorite uh, part? Um, my math wasn't right. The whole thing. Nothing? He said the, I whole, said the thing. whole thing. Oh, the whole thing. What was your favorite meet and greet? The soldier. The, the, yeah, the soldier. The soldier was pretty cool. It runs select days in December. Uh, I will put all uh, the information. Uh, oh, uh, somebody's uh, alarm uh, going off. Uh, <laughs> and it's uh, quite loud. Uh, <laughs> all right. I will put all the information in the description about the event and how it works. The nice thing about this event is you don't pay for a separate ticket. It's included in your park admission. Alrighty. On that note, we are going to go find our car, find a cold drink, and hang out. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe! Have an awesome holiday season!